Welcome Terry Bailey and Debbie Hyde to the Oklahomans Video Studio. I'm Helen Ford Wallace with Parties Extra, which is brought to you by our sponsor, Party Galaxy. Welcome you all. Thank, Thank you, you so much so for having us. Well, so glad to be here. <laughs> you have the heart ball coming up. Yes, February 20th. Tell us about that. that. What, 67 sweethearts? We do. We have 67 sweethearts. We have um, a lot of different sponsors that are participating as well. We're expecting about 750 guests total. 750? Yes. That's a big party. It <laughs> is. It is. It's such a fun party. And uh, Chris and Amy Rain are chairing it this year, and they've put together a um, a wonderful executive leadership team. We've just got some really fun things going on this year. So it, it's definitely the party not to miss this year. Where will it be? It's going to be at the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have, um, it's of course black tie, so everybody wears formal dresses and tuxedos. And we've got dinner, dancing. dinner, dancing. We have an awesome band, the Scott Keaton Band, and um, lots of fun surprises for entertainment so well you didn't tell me <laughs> <laughs> I know <laughs> how about what do the girls wear the wor the girls wear formal too so uh, just long dresses you know they do don't any color any color they want it so doesn't that you could have all red dresses or all pink? you could but um, we ensure that there's only one girl in a dress so that there's no duplicate dresses mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. so all of the girls dresses are unique and very beautiful of course this year the girls are we have such a good sweetheart class this year they're um, not just their dresses they are such a, a wonderful group of girls great civic minded and very volunteer focused and so. these are sophomores in high school right? they are yes mm -hmm. yes oh my gosh i mean that's starting early how are these girls chosen so we have a committee that mm -hmm. puts together an invitation uh, list in march and in april we send out the invitations we have a an informational meeting that we have in April and so um, there is a fee with the program so um, it's not for everybody but we have um, you know just some wonderful activities going through the year so it is a really it just beyond the ball it's a really wonderful program we have a CPR training we have a health and fitness day where they learn how to eat healthy and exercise we have um, a father daughter all connected to the heart it is exactly. it is everything is surrounded mm -hmm. around the heart association mm -hmm. and all different facets of the heart so they have a fundraising activity which of course is a big part of the organization they'll have, spend a day at the Capitol um, t talking to their lawmakers and, and and representatives so that um, they can talk about issues that are important to the American Heart Association and so the last few years whatever they've talked on has actually passed by the governor oh. so they've been our, our good luck charm. <laughs> <laughs> so you all uh, during the dinner you will have some sort of a speaker I think so we, tell us about that. We do we have a, a really special survivor story this year and um, Rick Hansing is a stroke survivor and he'll be sharing his story and I mean, it's really, really special. Mm. So. You know, and many people don't realize that we are not only the American Heart Association, but also the American Stroke Association. Oh, so we're both fits. in tandem, uh -huh. exactly. One is better known than the other, but we still do research and uh, we have a support group that meets regularly. And um, it's really important for people to realize that um, heart attacks affect your heart and brain attacks are what stroke are. And that you've got to take action fast. And that's kind of an easy acronym to remember. Spell it out. Right. F-A-S-T. Mm -hmm. And F stands for your face. So if you're ever talking to somebody and you notice a drooping of their face um, or a drooping of their eye, you know, and they're not, they're not symmetrical all of a sudden, um, take note. Um, if, um, if, they, if, if you ask them to put their arms out and they can't, they're not equal. One F side is weaker than the other. That's the A. That's the A mm -hmm. for arms. Mm -hmm. S is speech. So if you're talking to somebody and all of a sudden they're having a really hard time getting their words out, unlike the rest of us that happens sometimes, <laughs> this is a really prolonged uh, struggle with finding words or um, they start sounding like gibberish. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, that those are really pertinent um, symptoms and you need to take action 
fast. Mm -hmm. And so the last letter is T, and that means it's time to take action. And really and truly, what you need to do is call 911. Mm -hmm. Um, because our, our ambulance system is connected to our hospitals and not every single hospital is equipped 24-7 for every kind of stroke. So sometimes you need a plumber, if you will, to mm -hmm. take care of a clot and sometimes you have a different kind of problem. So if you activate the 911 system, our um, first responders will make sure and be pre-communicating because you have about 90 minutes. You know, the, I, the whole option is to get people from the moment they've had their stroke to the treatment within 90 minutes. Everybody is striving for that time because it means better quality of life. And um, you can actually wait longer than the ability to get treatment. So you only have a window of time with most of the treatments nowadays. So you really do need to make sure that you take it seriously. It's not something you don't want to wait through. And do through. it fast. Yes, fast, <laughs> F-A-S-T. And February is um, National Heart Month. Yes, it is. It so, is. you, besides the ball, you have other activities, don't you? We do. We do. We've got a lot of really wonderful our things going pins. on. Yeah, we have our red dress pin on right now. We're very darling. And so, February 5th mm -hmm. is uh, National Wear Red Day. It's national, so you'll turn on the Today Show, Good Morning America, the you know CBS. All of them will be wearing their their red. Local news stations will be wearing their red. Um, we have some buildings downtown and across. The city that are going red, and oh, really? that we do, fun. yeah. And so we encourage everybody to wear their red that day, and in support of the American Heart Association, and just bringing aware awareness that heart disease is the number one killer of women. And um, women are great about taking care of their husbands and their kids, but not so great about taking care, care of ourselves. Mm -hmm. So, if um, this is really about bringing awareness that we do need to take care of our hearts as well, too, it's our number one killer. So. You know, and Helen, before this, this cause and this mission focus, we weren't aware that uh, women were dying more than, than men were and that our symptoms are, present themselves differently. So they're harder to diagnose many times mm -hmm. than men. And mm -hmm. since this, this, uh, this special icon day and these partnerships focusing on women, we've actually really started gender-specific research projects and we're finding that we react differently, which you wouldn't, um, it's not like rocket science. You think about all of the changes in our bodies as women with childbearing and with our hormone differences and our body size differences, we're going to react differently than men do. So it's very important for us to be continuing to push the initiative that, that women need to be focused on. And the awareness. Exactly, mm -hmm. and the research mm -hmm. specific mm -hmm. to our gender. Mm -hmm. Well, um, I think I think you said that the ball benefits, how do, how do you, you benefit and go red, all of it benefits uh, the American Heart Association. Exactly. So all mm -hmm. of the money, the money that's raised locally actually stays locally. We have three over $3.5 million being spent in Oklahoma City alone, just on research. So that's life-saving research. Mm -hmm. And then we have some really amazing programs, too, in our community. So um, the the money that's raised here is really going to save Oklahomans. It's going to benefit Oklahomans. and. Um, of course, you know that we have one of the worst statistics in the country, and so we have a lot of work that needs to be done. And our city also has, is, you know, one of the unhealthiest cities in the country, so we have a lot of work to do. Mm -hmm. But um, we are seeing progress, too, so it's, it's exciting. Any new statistics on the heart that we should know? Hmm. New statistics. Well, I mean, well, we're we're making some strides. You know, mm -hmm. our purpose statement, our our impact goal is by the year 2020 to have reduced heart disease death by 20 percent, and mm -hmm. then all of the key seven factors that go into that, like cholesterol, exercise, eating habits, smoking. We've made some dents on some of them, like smoking. We're actually down. Um, um, drinking sugary beverages. We're actually down. But obesity, we're not down. Um, we still struggle with um, getting people to do the, the recommended levels of exercise on a regular basis, you know, getting uh, up and moving. Um, so we've, we've, got, we've got work that, ha you know, we've made progress on and we've got things that we're, you know, lagging behind and trying to figure out how to avoid the, you know, whatever the obstacles are to people. One of the things that our board of directors in our community is working on is blood pressure. So if we could, um, uh, figure out a way for people to recognize that they have high blood pressure if they're unaware and um, take care of it and if we could help people who know they have high blood pressure but are not being compliant to their doctor's orders for whatever reason 
um, become compliant, we could make a huge dent in those statistics because a lot of times when you're managing your blood pressure, you are also aware of what you're eating. You're also aware of your exercise. Mm -hmm. You know, and some of those things kind of are ripple effects. So we're really working on that. And we have a free program called Check Change Control, which we put people in teams for four months. And um, the results are amazing. People who participate actively actually see major drops in their blood pressure. So we're really proud of that. Don't you think that everyone is really, really exercising a lot? I mean, most people. Uh, I don't know. No. Honestly, no. <laughs> no. I, I think people it's might be better. feast or famine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Feast or famine. Mm -hmm. And sometimes even what we're considering exercise isn't enough to get your heart rate up. And mm -hmm. you know, and you have to be careful once you've let yourself become unhealthy, and that definition is different for everyone. You, you've got to make sure that you're picking exercise that is safe for you, you mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. um, and That's we're true. not like mm -hmm. some areas that do a whole lot of walking. Downtown you might have the benefit, but mm -hmm. we do a lot of driving in Oklahoma mm -hmm. and we have tons of fast food that we've gotten in the habit of picking up and going. So kind of the art of cooking has been lost. And that's one of the things we're working on, looking at where all of the gaps in fresh fruits and vegetable access are in, in our communities. And then um, what would it take to help teach somebody who might never have cooked a vegetable, uh, learn how to cook and be motivated to try those things. Well, thanks for keeping us up and aware of what's going on with the Heart Association. We need to stay very aware of what is happening in this area. And thanks for telling our viewers about the Heart Ball. I hope everyone supports it in a big way. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>